Hey, this is Steve from True Health, and today we are going to be doing Black Nebula Carrot Soup. And the Black Nebula Carrot is so dark, it's so rich in antioxidants, it's a powerhouse of antioxidants and something you might want to try. So these seeds come from Baker's Creek, and they are awesome, and they produce these rich, deep, dark carrots. And you're going to see that in the video, um, something you want to add to your health regimen next year. And if you know anybody that has grown these carrots, by all means, like take advantage of them because they are the bomb. So let's get started. So these are the Black Nebula carrots. Look at how dark they are. Um, got these seed uh, for this from Baker's Creek, and they are amazing. Just want to cut one open for you. And look at how dark these are inside. I think that is freaking amazing. Um, so yeah, the antioxidants are really strong. So I'm gonna start peeling some of my carrots right now. So I've got all of the carrots peeled right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop them up and get them ready to put into the soup pot. Okay, so here we have all of the chopped up carrots and you can see how dark the uh, color is. Some, some of the inside of the carrots actually have a little bit lighter tone to it, but for the most part, it's really dark purplish black. So, awesome antioxidants. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little bit of vegetable broth in here um, so this can uh, cook up pretty well. And there's not much coloring in the vegetable broth so, uh, it shouldn't dilute the color of the carrots all that much. Uh, but I'm going to cook this until they are soft. I'm also going to dice up one potato to just add as a little bit of thickener to this. And then I'm going to, um, you know, add that in too. So, uh, it should turn out to be a pretty good soup. And I'm going to put it on the stove right now and get it started. I'll be adding a little bit of paprika, a little bit of basil, a little bit of oregano, and a little bit of sea salt, and also a little bit of ground pepper. And adding two small potatoes. So I'm going to let this uh, cook for a little while and it should probably take, I would say, about 25-30 uh, minutes to uh, cook these diced carrots pretty well and then I'm going to blend them and make it into like a nice pureed soup. So let's let this cook and I will join you in a minute. So what's funny about this soup, it almost looks like squid ink. It is so dark. Um, the other thing is when you're cutting the carrots, you probably should wear gloves. I don't know if you can see the purpleness on my fingers here, but maybe I'm absorbing some antioxidants through my fingers. I don't know if that's possible, probably, but anyway, it is really dark right now. I'm just going to show you that. See how darkish purplish black that is? If uh, you actually peel back a little bit of that foam on there so anyway this is doing pretty well okay so I'm gonna take the carrots and I am going to start blending them in this food processor to make it a nice cohesive creamy soup and it should uh, do pretty well it is actually retained all its color so it's not like one of those uh, green beans that starts off black and then as soon as you put it in the water it actually loses its antioxidants and uh, boils away. So anyway I'm going to start adding these carrots into it and start blending it up. Let's 
do the next batch. Okay, so we're about ready to plate this soup up. We've got a couple bowls here, and man, this has a rich, deep, dark purple, and it looks like it's gonna be so good. So let me just ladle this out, and we will get started on having lunch, and it's gonna taste great. I took a little taste of it, and a uh, little unusual flavor, but awesome, awesome flavor. So if you're gonna make uh, antioxidant soup, consider doing it with some black nebula carrots if you plant those next year. All right, this looks good. Look at that, look at how rich it is. Mm -mm. Nice. This has been Steve with True Health, and thanks so much for watching the Black Nebula Carrot Soup video. And as always, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps my channel, and I hope to see you soon.